Hey Pennsylvania patients, it's me again, Medical Mary. And I thought today, since I have to go to the hospital later in the week, that we could make a nice edible to take with me. I've decided for this edible on using a Cresco RSO, a nice sativa blend. You know, Kinkarong has some CBG, CBC, THC. So what's next? What do we do with it? After trying lots of different ways to try to make different edibles and doing baking, I really wanted to make some hard candies. I don't want to get a candy thermometer. I don't want to boil sugar and corn syrup. So I found something about melting down Jolly Ranchers and then just pouring them into a mold. And doesn't that kind of sound fantastic? If it works. Oh wait, you already kind of know it works as I showed you. So you want to see how we did it? We just bought some RSO and I have a ton of Jolly Ranchers. 22 to be exact. <laughs> and we're going to try to make some melted down Jolly Ranchers and add the RSO and have these cool edibles. <laughs> this is going to be real time consuming, taking them all apart, separating them, crushing them up, and then it's going to hopefully make it easier to melt them down. Well, it's, we're going to use strawberry and pineapple, wish us luck. Now let's crush it up. So we're probably going to double, triple, quadruple bag these ranchers before we smash them up with a hammer. so quiet. <laughs> She's terrible. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dead. Come on, man. Relax. Crush it up, crush it up. of the crushed up Jolly Ranchers into a pot and we're gonna put it on the stove. Yeah, she looks all innocent. This girl's been barking the whole time. I'm gonna mix just a little butter in there just to give the RSO something to stick to, so. Look at little Sour De Jesus. All his butter over here jacked up with candy on it. The buttercup knocked the cart over. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. I feel like we need some modest Yahoo. consistency of like previously chewed bubble gum. Yeah, that's <gasps> definitely accurate. It looks like that too. Yeah, it looks definitely I feel like, like chewed bubble gum. <laughs> it's five minutes away from giving in and becoming a liquid. And you, how long do you think we've been like stirring this on low? Oh my gosh, at least 10-15 minutes. Okay, not there yet. It wasn't really doing much, so we turned the heat up just a little bit. It's like number two or three, right in between there. I think there. we're like th a little past three. But now it's really starting to melt down. And Much I think better. we're almost ready to squeeze the RSO in there. 
we have to heat up that RSO a little bit. I have the temp going as hot as it can. I'm going to fill up a bowl. Can and burn. And we're going to sit the RSO in there for a couple minutes to let it soften up so it doesn't break that click container. Now we have our RSO. And we're going to squeeze about half of this into that mixture. If you could only smell this right now, remember it was pink. Mm, now it's dank. I'm going to just pour it into the molds, but it's going to be too hard to film that. So I'll show you the aftermath. Totes. Totes, man. Here's the aftermath. The pan came pretty clean. Only burned a couple fingers. Definitely a whole bunch of edibles. I'm working on shaping my own something. It's a little edible doobie. <laughs> Shells with these scallops, I think. Cute. These came out really easy. Super cute. Let's hope that these come out just as easy. I love them. They're so cute. She's excited for us. <laughs> I bet she's excited for that guy that walks the pug down the road. <laughs> I'm excited for him too. Cute. I was just told that people don't keep confectioner sugar in the fridge. No way. That's, weird. That's super weird. Comment below if nobody does that. Where do you keep it? It was definitely worth making them this way, but it seems like definitely a team effort. Definitely. If I was alone, I would have been really stressed out. There's a edibles calculator online. If you go to howtoedibles.com and you type in the amount of product you use and the amount of THC that's in that product. So you can use RSO, you could use distillates, you can use your own can of butter, and it tells you how much each of your edibles is when you divide it by the amount of edibles you make out of it. So I'm not a math person. It makes me real stressed to even think about it. So the how to edibles calculator is a lifesaver. Doing the math on our half gram of RSO that we added, and, and we made, oh my gosh, I forget how many pieces, but we had done the math the other day. So the larger pieces that we made were around 14 to 15 milligrams. And the smaller heart pieces that we made were around 7. So <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I tried one the other day. It was good. It didn't last as long as people claim that their edibles last. But if I get a couple hours of relief, it's worth it for me. And you don't just keep eating them like you would a gummy bear. So it's nice to have like a hard sucker. So Medical Mary approved. <laughs>